So as we continue the road towards Christmas, we've been spending time with a new young family. Well, their parents are, the parents are very old, but the child is very young. Uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth and their new son, John. Remember, Zechariah has been released from verbal lockdown. He's been able to prophesy and praise. The Holy Spirit fills him. He overflows with praise from God. Words from God kind of come coursing through his heart and out. And Luke tells us what he said. And he looks back and sees how God's fulfilled all his promises. And that's the first part of it. And then in the second part, we see not so much Zechariah the priest, but Zechariah the new dad. And he looks at his young son and he says, and you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High. And he talks about how his son, John, is going to prepare the way for the Lord. To talk how he talks about how through what John will do and what the, the king who's coming after him will do will will bring forgiveness of sins. And he has this beautiful picture of sunrise. He says what's happening now is like the sun is rising and the tender mercy of our God is seen. Just like the sun rises, so someone from heaven is coming to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the paths of peace, says Zechariah in his prophecy. It's a wonderful picture of what is happening. That this wait that's over is not just for Israel to have their Messiah. There's this picture of the one from heaven coming to lead anyone out of darkness. Anyone who lives in the shadow of death can be led out of it into the path of peace. What a beautiful picture. And as we reflect on it today, we can remind ourselves of, of exactly what has happened as a result of Christmas. One has come from heaven to us. The darkness need not have the last word. We don't live in the shadow of death. We don't need to be locked into fear because the Son from heaven has come. Jesus, who described himself as the light of the world. And so the longings of Israel are fulfilled. But also there's this sense that there's a longing in the whole of the human race. Maybe you share that if you're not yet a believer. We long for that light to shine. We long for that holiness and cleaning and forgiveness that is offered. And Zechariah talks about it and he says that it's come. It's come in Jesus the rising sun from heaven shining on us. Let's pray. We thank you, God, that the light has come to us from heaven, just like the sun rises, just as sure and just as steadily. We pray that you would guide our feet into the paths of peace. We pray that today our lives will reflect the Jesus light to those living in darkness because you want those who live in the shadow of death to be led out into the path of peace. Amen.